Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode four of season three of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's get ready to jump in. If you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for coming to the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies react to each month. We got month Q and A's, behind the scenes footage. You're trying to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. To least leave a like. Drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, let's get ready to jump into episode four, Devils You Know. Here we go. Oh my God, I thought that was a baby can arm for a second. Me, can you? Nobody can, it's chicken. <laughs> there we go, that's a much better angle. Uh, was that necessary? So is he another inhuman? Or has he just got special fancy shoes? Oh, it's a shadow clone lady. Sorry to drop by like this, but it's important. The Terrigen got out. Uh, a little late to the party here, unless this was a- uh... news and all that stuff about a government task force. We knew it was bad, we just didn't know how bad. The world sees us as a threat. Okay. So they're all inhumans. Are you the one who sent us that weird email the other day? What email? The one about finding the rest of our people, bringing them back together. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa whatever they could do, it didn't matter. I don't know what she was about to prep. I wanted to see what she could do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh! Oh, whoa! So she's with them! That's what? Ah, oh, damn! Let's go! But God, she feels the death of each one of them, though. God, her gut was exploded. We got three dead. We're gonna need backup. God damn! Can he, like, negate inhuman abilities? Or is he immune to them? He's here. He's here to kill us. Like here, here? Or, okay. <sighs> kind of wild to me that she's helping them when Lincoln was so hesitant to do so up for, for such a long time. I mean, what well, still is. You could use backup out there. I know you really want to get back into action, Agent Morse, but the answer is no. You're still rehabbing. You haven't passed the physical. Understood, sir. Mm. When you're ready, you'll be ready. Cutting in and out, sir. We've trailed the killer to the industrial park a half a mile south of here. Backup would be nice. Watch way. Hold tight. Okay, at least that message got out. I was a little worried they were going to be cut off. This. I had a garage, workbench full of new tools, my own espresso machine. <laughs> this is uh, giving me some Resident Evil vibes. Even the little X-Files with those flashlights. Hunting a creature you don't understand. Go to eat, sleep. And kill. I was gonna say make little baby sharks, but then Jaws is probably 20 years before you were born, so. Chill, Mac. <laughs> we're the same age, and I've seen all of the Jaws films many times as a child. I'm going. I'm all going. four. Mm. Oh, she got a lock of his hair. Oh, blue, not clear. What? I said blue, not clear. How many times am I... Okay, look, Simmons and I have created a system. B is for blue, is for biological sample. Right, another system. How could I forget? Mm, relax. Where I come from? Blue's for recycle. Well, that is insane. R I could understand. R is for red. Is... Regardless. Oh, my God. <laughs> R is for regardless. Did she open up to you at all about what happened to her? Not really. Why? Did she say something to you? No. Oh, God damn. Fucking damn it, people. I mean, I get, I guess in this case, it's Simmons trauma. If she's not ready to tell certain people, it's not her secret to tell, given what was about to happen. This is something I feel like the team might need to know, considering what it's dabbling with. Three, two. Oh, oh. <laughs> get, get out, get down, get down, get down, down. Everybody stand down. This is fucking hilarious. Shield's not the enemy. And Why is she here on site? The young Agent Johnson here. Rosalind Price, by the way. Oh. Wow. Okay. You asked for reinforcements. I get that you cut a deal with them, but for the record... It's a means to an end. Ours or theirs. 
We'll figure that out. I love when this show has X-Files vibes. <laughs> I love it. Anything they've touched. Where are you taking the victims? That's Need to know. Close enough. Oh, it's not fun when it's you, right? <laughs> Can't believe I just said that to the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. They lived here for the last 18 months and yet never visited an emergency room. Never missed time at work. Didn't socialize with co-workers. Had zero presence online. So they were introverts. Mm. They were already enhanced before the outbreak. Damn, she pieced that together quickly. How'd you find them, Colson? They were friends of a friend. You mean Daisy's friends? Look, we could do this all day, but there's an enhanced person out there killing people, and I'd really like to catch him. <laughs> Priorities, guys. Priorities. How about we focus on the active threat here? You're welcome, by the way. Oh, don't take it personally, Phil. I'm sure you have other evildoers out there to catch. <laughs> Nice. Same bloke who brought these to talk Spud last week. He's a tough bastard. I like that he didn't come empty handed. Might be helpful on the next job, whatever that is. Sorry, Kibo. It's level seven. Well, uh, he's uh a experimenting thing. with shield there. Yeah, levels of uh access and knowledge. Now take this job, for instance. It's all about accountability, patience, and attention to detail. That's also a good excuse to drag this out longer and keep him from face to facing with Hunter. So what's the job? Don't know. When's it going down? Don't know. Any idea where? Not yet. You do realize the point of intelligence gathering is to gather intelligence. The point is I'm moving up the food chain. And that <laughs> lunatic Kibo is finally mm. bringing me in on a job. Or luring you into a trap. We have to be smart about this. It's not complicated, really. Just point, shoot, repeat as necessary. You don't have enough intel. It's sloppy. If it's a chance Rinse, to find Ward, it's worth it. If I have a shot at finding him, I'm taking it. I have to, before Bobby gets back in the field. I want Ward as bad as you do, but I don't think his life is worth yours or Bobby's. No. Once you get the time and place, call me. Yes, Mum. The DNA results came in. They confirmed the killer's an inhuman. He's killing his own uh. kind. I don't know. Oh. If he knows what it's like, what we go through, I, just, I refuse to believe Mac's great white shark theory. He's not some mindless wrecking machine. I mean, I guess it would depend on what the change brought about in him. A couple mentioned that they got some weird email, right? Well, that email had a nasty virus attached to it. The virus was planted to track their location. We know the ATCU has found in humans in the past. Let's see if they've come across this virus before. If we share with them, what do we get in return? What do you want? How many inhumans they've come across, where they take them. Daisy has a good point, sir. We don't know nearly enough about them. I agree, but if we want answers, then we gotta play ball. Yeah. Share the intel. Trace the virus to its source. I agree with Phil in this in this perspective. But as far as our doppelganger, when her clone died, why did that freeze her up? Because we know that's not the first time that's happened to one of her duplicates. Well, maybe this one's special. Maybe it's something this entity does something about its ability i know you're looking for signs of ptsd but i assure you i'm fine you've been through something pretty extreme hold on we haven't followed up on uh strucker's little infiltration into his class we haven't uh touched upon that yet i'm kind of surprised considering he's pretty prominent in this episode right now is that her faith saved her that and the thought of all the loose ends she left behind the people she cared about she never gave up hope i did mm. Got a lot of friends here who care a lot about you. You're safe now, Gemma. It's over. You're wrong. About she which puts part? Up in front, but I'm worried about her. About which part, Gemma? God damn it! <laughs> and when I give you a recommendation, I want you to respect it this time. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the inhuman you have in containment. You know, the one I never even met, let alone cleared for a mission. At least she came to us. She was worried about her friends. Hmm. These people have problems. I'm not just gonna turn a blind eye and rubber stamp them for your new team. And I'm not asking you to. This was a simple recruitment mission. Alicia wanted to go. Nobody saw that attack coming. Trying to justify that to me or to yourself? Yes. Oh, wait. What the fuck? His latest bad idea: walking into a Hydra stronghold alone for a shot at finding Ward. I admire his courage. Sounds like suicide. <laughs> Ward knows Hunter's face. If there's a chance they run you. into each other on this job, Hunter needs backup. More than I can provide. That should have been something we addressed right out of the gate. No, duh. We know that. You all know that. I know Hunter doesn't give a shit at this point as long as he comes face to face. Because if he's close enough to see his face, he's close enough to get a shot. Look, I'm sorry Andrew's here. I didn't mean to make it more awkward. It's fine. We're all professionals. Yeah. 
But we're also friends. The reason you haven't come back is because we're working with him? It's not. I can find someone else to consult. Don't. Andrew's really good at what he does. You need him. But I can replace him. You not so much. No. <laughs> the reason Andrew left me had nothing to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. It's, it's about me. Always has been. What happened? Like, everything seemed like they were heading towards a, uh... Still practicing. Mm. Oh. Better without it. Thanks. Yes, he does. But he looks great all the time. But don't distract me with Coulson's dashing good looks. Everything before, like at the end of last season, seemed like we were heading towards them coming back together. Not necessarily saying they're getting back together or anything like that, but the the things that kept them from cordially interacting, maybe dissipating. But clearly something else happened in the middle of our time skip. Schematics. There's notes all over this in Simmons' handwriting. Oh, no. Gemma, I'm just trying to... No, 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 they're all out of order. Well, you, what did you tell him? Gemma, relax. We're, we're just analyzing the Inhumans' DNA. All this data, what's it for? Just stay away from my things. Oh, shit. What just happened? Did she say something to you? It should come from her. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's gotta hurt, though. I thought you left. I was waiting for you, but... Are you back? No. Can we talk? That's what we're doing. <laughs> we went away to figure out who we'd be outside a shield. You didn't like what you saw. Let's move on. I had a great time. So did I. Until you fell off the face of the earth. No calls, no texts. That had nothing to do with you. Please, don't give me the, it's not you, it's me speech. Okay, so do we have a misunderstanding? So he ran away from their, their little vacay retreat. You could come back. I don't think so. Well, damn it, Melinda. I, I know I've handled this all wrong. I shouldn't have walked away like I did. I did the same to you. No, Maybe he got cold feet, got scared because of, of that. And then it's just exacerbated this cycle. I reached out to the ATCU and talked to that guy, Banks. What'd he give you? Besides a case of the creeps, he said the virus I found was sent on to the other inhumans they've come across. They just didn't spot it. Oh, or nice. It was hardly cooperation. Not only didn't they find the virus, but they couldn't trace it either. <laughs> they suck at their jobs. Killer has an IT guy? Forget that. How did the ATCU not track him? He's one of their own. He's a government employee. You think the ATCU knew about him? Worse. What if Sanctioned him? him? I think the Ooh. conspiracy nut and you had a few too many lattes this morning. <laughs> I gave him a latte. It was a double. But if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were defending the ATCU. Or the Dragon Lady. I assume you mean Rosalind? There's that first name thing again. It's a dead giveaway. I mean, don't feel bad. She's sharp, attractive, head of a big, shady organization. I don't like where this is going. You think I do? Go grab Mac and <laughs> the flight team. We're going to see what this Mr. Uh, to say I love himself. their back and forth. I don't get the vibes that their own is doing this, though they have been able to get to these bodies well before them every time but that one time. I mean, maybe Sky's onto something. Maybe Daisy's onto something. Once the threat's contained, our holding facility is prepped to take him. I'd like to see that sometime. As long as I can get something in return. Maybe a ride on that fancy new plane? You know that door won't open itself, right? Like when you don't, you got a human battery and ram. Oh, well, there's a cocoon. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get what out! The, get out! What the fuck was happening there? Come out and say hello. Uh, she's killing me. Get her out of here. Hmm. Why though? Ever since I turned, migraine hits me like a bus anytime I get close to one of whatever we are. A rash is just a bonus. So you're a divining rod for others like you. Is that how you find your victim? He's in the X-Files. <laughs> I know this guy. We know about the virus. How do you send it to all of them? You're the brains of the operation, and your giant pit bull does all the killing for you. Is that it? <gasps> Where are you going, Mr. Fry? Ooh. Be careful. It's got a laser finger. <gasps> Don't let me unleash the Coldson. <laughs> How'd you know who these victims were? Lash gave me their names. All I did was track them down. Lash, big guy, dreads, likes to leave holes in people. Lash. I'm not familiar with that name. You should be helping him, not hunting him. Help him kill people. Cause sure, that makes sense. Do you think he likes 
doing what he's doing. He doesn't. Ever since I turned, then why I feel does he like my do it? skin is on a fire. There's a jackhammer in my head. I wake up thinking that the pain will go away, but it doesn't. The only thing that helps is when Lash does his thing, sends us freaks back to where we belong. Wait. Didn't want this, and I know I'm not so the only one. So he's killing to alleviate his migraines because in humans, sheer presence fucks his brain up? He's just a guy trying to do the right thing. I don't know about that. It's a lot of people he's killing just for you. How heavily sedated is Fry? On a scale of one to ten, about a six. No one likes a drooler, why? I need you to squeeze through <laughs> more of that truck. That's not what we agreed on. Sharing is a two-way street. We invited you to the party, now we need to know what you're doing with the guests. I like his wordplay. Just give me a minute. Hop on board. I do not trust them, man. Do you really have a laser finger? Sorry, it's classified. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, she got a little she got a little chuckle out of that. Looks like your rehab's going well. Doesn't feel like it. I understand. I read up on your surgeries. Two on the knee, three in the lung. What's left of it? Don't forget those fun loving abscesses. Mmm, yeah. Have you told anyone else that you want to go back? You might want to. There's someone in particular who's really worried about you. I wonder who that might be. He's driving me nuts, you know. The other day he snapped at me just because I put a bio sample into a clear specimen bag. Clear? <laughs> well, B is for blue is for biological. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction from Bobby was priceless. Old familiar feeling in my gut and had to run. What feeling is that? My cutter's in trouble. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't jump the gun and get yourself in a situation you're not prepared for yet. Gotta make sure you're clean. Director's orders. Director? Some kind of shield nonsense. In you go, Richie. Oh, I ain't getting in the bloody boot. It stinks of rotten bananas in there. It does, doesn't it? We did that on purpose. Always in the bloody boot. Get comfy now. It's gonna be a long ride. God, is like uh, boils are getting worse as well. You catch how fast he left the scene? Yeah, so he could get rid of anything Roz doesn't want us to see. Well, he's prepping a cell for you. It's his funeral. Oh, uh oh. I don't think we're gonna make it. I feel like his meds are wearing off. Wow. What exactly is his power, though? Whoops. Um, guys, uh, vacate. I only told them the truth. Are you being merciful? I'm not merciful. I'm necessary. No. Oh, well, I guess, uh, you've, uh, expended your usefulness, I guess. I'm necessary. I'm not merciful. I'm necessary. He's leaving her. Why? Oh. Okay, so he's not always like this. So is there like a Jekyll and Hyde situation or like a werewolf situation or I don't know. He is just strutting away. So he is aware. So it's not exactly either of those, I guess. You got a concussion. Separate your shoulder. Is it someone we know? Is that why he didn't go after Daisy when he's literally going after every other inhuman? What's up, D? You holding something back? I saw something. And I'm not sure, but I don't think Lash is just some great white shark. I think he can turn into a person. Well, inhumans are all people, Daisy. Thought you were better than this. <laughs> I mean, think about it, Mac. He could be anybody. But it's definitely not her. That was not her silhouette. Where's Colson? I've been trying to reach him. He's on a mission after a high value target. That human one, so not your thing. It's not Andrew, is it? Cause like he he's the one that left when they were on their way. You couldn't handle me, so you just disappeared. You up and left. While they were away, maybe he get infected with the serum, but then if he's aware, 
I don't know why he would be here doing all of this. That doesn't quite add up to me. Because one might think he's using them to track in humans if that were the case. But, you know, he didn't do anything with Joey. He hasn't done anything with Daisy. You know, he's upset about this other thing. But that seems more like legitimately about a concern of them overstepping their boundaries or putting people in the field that aren't ready or shouldn't be in the field. And he was clearly doing just fine without their uh, involvement at all up until this point. Maybe that's just a red herring. You planning some sort of raid? You can ask the director yourself. Oh. So. Fuck. It's the new guy? Yeah. Turn around, Richie. <sighs> hey, Richie. Why so shy? My name isn't Richie, director. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn, that was short-lived. What happened to your protocols, buddy? You said it wasn't time to meet yet. I got nothing. Not a man, not a vehicle in sight. You weren't actually dumb enough to come here out cowboy, were you? Sorry, this is coming from the guy who shot his own girlfriend by mistake. <laughs> I was hoping you were dead. Bobby was coming for me. At least that rematch would have been more even. Oof. I heard it took two of you after hours of torture. Yeah, lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. The door with a grenade. Yeah, that probably would have been better. And there's May for the save. No, oh, now he's like shitting himself. He's like, I can handle Hunter, but fuck, <laughs> May's here. Took your bloody time. How many did you count? Eleven, including Ward. I've taken out five. A slow day. <laughs> Coulson, what's your ETA? We're still 20 minutes out from your position. Oh, you need to get out of shit. Right now. There's no way we can delay them for 20 minutes. So glad you're here, May. I was planning on heading out with a truck full of weapons, looking to cause a little mayhem. Draw shield out. When instead, you came to me. You're trapped, Ward. Hey, don't interrupt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not before you see my surprise. Oh, his plant with Andrew. He's trying to get in your head. The video is fake. It's not, though. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I'm God. I'm off my men in the next 30 seconds. Dr. Andrew Garner, the ex Mr. May. <laughs> the ex Mr. May. All you have to do is put your weapons down and I'll let you go. God, he's such a good villain. You know, you're a tough guy to track down. W is he though? Uh, I guess we'll find out real quick if he is or is not because he has a warehouse full of guns here that I brought in. Because if he was, die, he could just, uh, May. shadow on and take them out. I'm sorry. Mm. I get it, though. I get it, though. She go to shoot Hunter instead? Oh! He got him. He got him. Ah. Uh, damn. Oof. Don't burn your allies, man. They're all dead. It's all of them. They're all dead. Oh, shit. Dude, if this is the reveal, that's fucking badass. Yeah, he looks like he's seen some shit. It's Andrew! Fuck you! Come on, tell me! Don't make me wait. But wh what's going on? What is he? Why would he? Why? Wh how does it? Uh... 
Why do you want to rebuild the portal, Gemma? I saw the schematics, the data, the astronomical research you've been doing. I just can't understand it. Because I have to get back there. And I need your help to do it. I'm going to need more information, Gemma. <laughs> Please. It's time I told you the truth. About everything. We're going to have to wait till next episode for that, too. Yeah, dramatic lead in. Credits. You piece of shit show. <laughs> Mm, even though you're not, you're you're fucking you're fucking good. You're too damn good sometimes. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's why Andrew's been getting so much more screen time this season. And the fact that we didn't see. Oh, that's gotta be it. Like, why else would we pan back? And every all those Hydra dudes are dead. Werner boy, Wiener boy's here running around, running away like he just saw just his entire life flash before his eyes, set this place on fire, boom, running. Dude's bleeding out, dead. We have, we learned that May didn't leave because that's what everybody was saying. That's what she said. She said was the, she was the problem. But we learned that was her interpretation of what happened because while they were away, Andrew just up and disappeared. You know, we went on this vacation, to see who we both were without S.H.I.E.L.D. and you didn't like what you saw, so you ditched me. That's her interpretation of those events. So she just just basically exiled herself. But what probably happened is while they were out there, maybe he took some of those pills, maybe he drank something from wherever they were, and he had the marker genetically and cocoon somewhere and woke up probably like that thing and couldn't face her and now has been just wrestling with that. Now, I don't know. I don't know if there's like a, an alternate persona thing happening. That's the only thing that I think could line up right now in my head about the motivations between the way he's helping S.H.I.E.L.D. and the way he's acting as Andrew versus what he's acting out as this thing, as Lash. This one inhuman had the unfortunate ability of being made sick by other inhumans. That is a shit roll of the dice right there, man. So he saw it as he was helping Lash take these people out because he saw it as, he, no, he's doing this to help me. Maybe that's what he told him, but he, oh, he's out there being a vigilante. He's trying to purge them from this plane, but he hasn't killed Lincoln. I mean, he probably tried. I don't think he's got like a strong attachment to Lincoln regardless, but he actively walked away from Daisy when she was here incapacitated perfect opportunity but he just killed the one dude and peaced out and then he transformed back i mean the silhouette i think would very much so match andrew it doesn't seemingly match anybody on rosalind's team definitely not rosalind but i just need to piece together the why then there's this email that they received with this virus that i guess is how he's tracking them there's how that dude was tracking them the guy that uh, was sending the misinformation. And maybe he was working in two ways. It still begs the question, how was Rosalind's group always able to get there before Coulson, long before this thing happens? Now, there was the theory that uh, Daisy pointed out is that possibly maybe they are running this thing, which doesn't seem to be the case now, but maybe he was two-waying that information. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Maybe giving a heads up to them after the fact, a tip after the fact, you know, they couldn't trace it down to him giving that leak, but I don't know. Maybe that's a nothing, Barry, but uh, it's just kind of the thing I'm hanging on to at the moment. But I'm just wondering if Andrew's aware of his actions when he's in this form. And if he is, you know, why has he done, why is he, I, I would assume that he's not a targeting Daisy because they have a connection. Like, obviously, they have a familiarity. He's within his circles. But why these other Inhumans? Is he targeting specific Inhumans? Uh, with specific abilities or whatever. Because he also, like we saw, he, he, well, I mean, he couldn't exactly kill Joey. He's at the S.H.I.E.L.D. base. So that would be super sussy if he did that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what his aim is. Hunter, though, is like tunnel visioned, understandably, on uh, Ward, man. So far as much that he was not willing to let Ward get away after all this effort they put into setting up this meet, regardless of what that meant for Andrew. Now, that's burning a bridge with May, who's been here helping them this entire time. When he's, She was like, hey, he's got Andrew. We can't do this right now. We got to back this off. He was like, sorry, after him. So that's kind of shitty. 
Like I understand where he's coming from, but that's super shitty. Ward, again, great villain. Uh, I love the way that he's integrating his shield knowledge into the way he's structuring out his base. And so I think that's a good, nice little way to kind of build the story out. And this is just a nice little uh, piece of storytelling with the way that he's incorporating all these things that he thinks worked from S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, things that he thought worked from HYDRA, and he's trying to put those together into something that's working for him. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. We did finally follow up on Strucker spying on Andrew, and look how that turned out. You know, Coulson's continuing to try to establish this quid pro quo uh, relationship with Rosalind and her team. You know, obviously Daisy's not feeling great about it, but Coulson made a lot of really good points in this episode, and you know, I, I think there is a budding relationship that could be there. There's also a lot of blossoming tension between Rosalind and Coulson that Daisy even pointed out in this episode as well. That I'm wondering if that will turn into anything. You know, I don't know. It's uh, interesting. I love their back and forth. I love the whole classified bit. He asked her a question. She's like, that's classified. And he, you know, she asked him for information. He's like, sorry, classified. They're like petty fun, witty back and forths are just fun to watch. And then you get Daisy and Coulson in a room together and they just are just witty with those comebacks back and forth, man. It's so good. Gemma, you know, her, again, this team and fucking secrets, man. I saw someone was like, well, dude, the shield is obviously there's a spy agency. They're built on secrets. That's not the argument that I'm making. The internal secrets is what really fucks them over. Like, it always comes out. Like, it never stays secret. Keeping secrets from the world and other agencies wholly understand. But I feel like this team, specifically this family, has learned or should have learned by this point that secrets within themselves, between themselves, has not gotten them anywhere. If anything, it's only ever caused more problems. Even when Coulson put Daisy in charge of her own team, he immediately backtracked on that and being like, sorry, not actually, but uh, secrets. And then he had to come clean about everything. This is a little bit of a different situation because it's something that got uh, revealed to Bobby by Gemma after everything. This is coming from trauma. I give this one kind of a pass because... You know, it's it's something she's not really willing to talk about with really anybody. The only reason Bobby uh, knows about it is because she stumbled onto her stuff or like she got, you know, an emotional reaction from Gemma when she was trying to experiment on the rock and when she was trying to get her hands on it. You know, she had to explain herself, but she didn't want anybody else to know. But I feel like this is also one of those things where. She's trying to open a portal to this place they just saved her from. I feel like that's information we need. And obviously that's got to come with time. And she kind of uh, fits forced her hand here. And it's not because Bobby told him anything or because she was very much so being a good friend in that way. He's like, hey, it's it's not my secret to tell. So it's got to come from her. But he, you know, just like Bobby did, kind of stumbled upon it, uh, not of their own action or, you know, intent. But now explanations are in order. And now I guess next episode, maybe we'll learn what exactly happened over there. She said something happened to her. She needs to get back over there. Why and what happened? I need to know. I need to know now. And I can't believe they also didn't confirm the Andrew thing in this episode, even though I think it was wholly apparent in the way that that transpired. But it just sucks. I feel bad for a lot of the characters in this. I, I get where I understand where everybody's coming from and why they're making the decisions that they're making. It's just a lot of them, in the way that they they hurt or bring down the characters around them, whether intentionally or unintentionally, it's hard to watch sometimes. Like with Hunter and May, and with uh, Gemma, Bobby, and Fitz, and with uh, Coulson and Daisy. Breaks my heart, man, because I love all these characters, and I just want to see them being a happy family. Oh, I completely got sidetracked off my thought. Like, when I was talking about Lash and why he was hunting down these people, I completely forgot about this. What is his power? He can open, like he can create the, it's not exactly a portal, but he can like dissipate matter. He traces a circle and it evaporates. So he can create holes and things, maybe portals. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. It's I've seen a little bit of uh, some inclinations that it could go one way or the other, or it can just dissipate matter. But... Whatever those two Inhumans that were about to attack him did, they were both charging up whatever their abilities were, but then he hit them with this blue energy that seemingly nullified it. 
So I don't know if, like, he is removing their inhumanness or if he's immune to it, he can negate it. I'm really interested to see what exactly his deal is. If this is a hunger thing, if this is a purpose thing, if this is a greater good thing, or if this is like a primal thing that he now needs to do to survive. What, 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 I need to know. I need to know more information about this man. And he's, his name is Lash. Maybe I forgot to touch on a couple things. If I did, just let me know. Uh, we'll carry on the conversation later, guys. But what do you all think? What are your thoughts? How do you feel about this? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you are Maryland's channel, get you access as well. And speaking before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, your course, Scott Melito, Rubber Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But well, that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.